How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and men and women and people? I am the professor, Julius Sumner Miller by name. And what do I profess? Only the slightest knowledge of how nature behaves. In all honesty, I must reveal to you the following. I have been in this business for more than half a century, and there is so much that I know, and so little do I understand a point I have made clear to you before. So you will find as you get older and read abundantly that men who have done things in physics of a profound sort turn in their later years to philosophy because some of the questions of nature are ever elusive and evasive. We talk again about the push of the air. There's nothing there. Oh, I made clear there is skillions of molecules of gas. And I want to remove a falsehood that resides in most people's minds and thinking. Here are two uh, things classically called suction cups. Suction cups. Oh, how I am troubled by having them called suction cups. So, I will put it in quotations. I am going to show you that there ain't no such thing as suction. And you will swear on oath and depose and say that you will never, after hearing this lesson, use the word suction. Because if my agents abroad should hear that you have used that phrase, I will seek you out to the ends of the earth don't know what will happen to you. But anyway, here they are. And what do we do? We push them together. We push them together. And I have pushed out from between them some of the air. Some, not all. I could never get it all out. Remember, the skillions of molecules. Indeed, I'm going to start again, and I'm going to do it near my face. Oh, yeah, and I felt the air squish out onto my face. So I'm pushing the air out. And now we ask, whoop, oh, I'm having a little trouble. We ask, oh, I'm having more trouble. There we are. What is holding them together? What? No suction. It is the push of the air. The push of the air, which we saw in the case of the breaking of the paper. Now, an idea, a calculation. The push of the air in this place is about 15 pounds per square inch. On every square inch, about 15 pounds. Let us say that the area of that face is 10 square inches. So there's 150 pounds pushing there. Then there's 150 pounds pushing here. And you remember my paradox of forces. A thousand grams this away and a thousand grams that away. And what did the scale read? So you know now that if there is 15, 150 pounds pushing here and 150 pounds pushing there, that the force to separate them is, what do I hear? It is not 300 pounds, it is 150. There you are. And remember, it is not the suction that held them together. This is a wonderful thing. Look at that, I can lift the table. I love that. Lift the table. A little too much for me. But I can slide it quite freely. No, I can't. Oh, there's my, uh, there's my bailing wire that has fallen off. I'll have to fix that. So don't you ever use suction. We come now next to the wonderful behavior of a bob on a string. Here is a bob on a string. Here is a bob on a string. And here is a bob on a longer string. And we shall investigate the wonderful behavior of a bob on a swing, called in our language a simple pendulum. And what I will uncover with you here in the next program will certainly enchant us all. And thank you for watching.